what I was saying. Yeah. But don't deal with what they are doing. Many good Muslims are abide by that and this is from violence and criminal. The people of the Gambia in particular, and Black Africa in general, look up to all Nigerians to maintain and strengthen the unity, peace, and prosperity of Nigeria as Africa's most populous nation and Black Africa's powerhouse. All, all Nigerians should understand that a divided Nigeria can only mean catastrophic consequences for the entire black race. Please, preserve the unity and peace of Nigeria. And remember that Nigeria is bigger than any regional, ethnic, or cultural consideration or interest. Almighty Allah continue to guide. Yeah. of uh, one of the speeches by your president, President Jammu. I can assure you it's going to be in all the news tomorrow. And that's why he's going to stand in the he, he shocked everybody. He shocked everybody because he came, gave a speech, a very confident speech, a very African speech, and a speech that inspired both Africans and non-Africans. And at the end of the day, he stole the day. He, and it was genuine, he was passionate, and it was not scripted. It was a, a speech he gave from his heart. He has always been a great leader, and so it came out naturally, and he was able to convince all of us who gave him that type of information. He is a naturally great African leader. Regional officers under the Ministry of Youths and Sports have received brand new motorbikes from Minister Aluke Jame during a recent tour to the various regions. The bikes, which came courtesy of the UNFPA, are meant to ease transportation constraints besides helping to bridge the communication barrier between the ministry's regional staff and the communities they serve. Rohibite has more on that tour, which also saw the unveiling of the local organization committee of NACOF at the Lower River region. The aim at helping is the transportation constraints and bridge the communication barriers of the ministry staff in various regions in the country and their surrounding communities with support from the UNFPA. The five-day tour took the officials to the North Bank region, Lower River region, as well as Central River region and Upper River region, and concluded in the West Coast region. The tour party saw each of the regions receiving a brand new motorbike to supplement their efforts. Anywhere you look around, there are plenty of opportunities being created by government. Sincerely speaking, I think it should be a very easy for any committed youth to create employment on his own now in this country, wherever you may be. If government is doing all of these things for the youths, and just to turn around to realize that the youths are not playing their part, it will be a huge disappointment. We have no doubt that the youths will measure up to expectations. I want to also challenge the staff under the ministry, through you, that we are working very hard to make their work environment conducive. The minister and entourage also visited some of the yields from youth farms of various regions in the country. At Sapo, the delegation saw firsthand the impressive performance of young people in terms of rice and granite production. 
There, the youth took the minister round to potential areas earmarked for rice cultivation during the dry season. According to the Ministry of Youth and Sport, a new initiative helping young people market their products was initiated through NEDI, a reason that took the tow party to Medina Rice Mill, where NEDI usually transport all rice produced by the youths to be processed before packaged for sale. The whole concept of talking about um, promoting agricultural development production has been you know, a key word, but as, as we go around, I think all that has been said here by the young people, they have been found to be, to be vindicated because the fact of the matter is we have seen for ourselves what the young people have done. And I think they can do more than that. So we in youth work, we never underestimate the efforts of young people and we never underestimate their potentials as well. We know the potentials are there. It's only a matter of giving them the advice, the guidance, the coaching and the support and set them up, they will go. And this is found to be very true in all the regions that we have visited. The youth of the Central River region was also presented with a vehicle to help in their transportation, especially to the Ministry's SAPO project. As part of the tour, the Minister of Youth and Sports launched the local organizing committee of the NACOV 2014, a move initiated to help in the proper planning of NACOV. The event also witnessed several residents of the Lower River region all pledging to support the local organizing committee, assuring the officials that LRR NACOV shall be the best. The tour provided the Ministry of Youth and Sports realities of how young people are working within the regions, the conditions of their offices and residents, as well as provide them ideas on how to address the needs of the young people. Rahibite, GRT's News. The Ministry of Agriculture, under its Fast Dep project, recently wrapped up a four-day training program dubbed Farmer Field School at the Genoi Agricultural Rural Farmer Training Center. The exercise sought to enhance the knowledge and skills of rural farmers so as to boost agricultural productivity. Rohi Bite picks up the rest of that story. Improve the Lord the Agri-Game Community, the Ministry of Agriculture recently held a four-day farmer field school at the Genoi Agricultural Rural Farmer Training Center. This training aimed at providing farmers with knowledge and skills through practice is one of that the ministry is hoping to excel, wherein the farmer trained will make good use of the knowledge gained and pass it on to others. The Deputy Permanent Secretary for Finance and Administration at the Ministry of Agriculture, Sherifo Bojang, assured women farmers of his ministry's continuous commitment to ensuring the advancement of Gambian agriculture. Speaking at the event, Ami Fabre Damfa, who was doubling as training coordinator and Deputy Director of the Horticultural Technical Services of the Department of Agriculture, revealed that the training was in partial fulfillment of a memorandum of understanding signed between the Food and Agriculture Sector Development Project, FASDEP and the Department of Agriculture on the capacitization of FASDEP beneficiary communities on improved crop production practices for enhanced household food and income security. Presenting a brief overview of the project, the director of FASDEP for funding S. Fatajo noted that FASDEP will be supporting several activities including horticulture, livestock improvement, fish farming, tidal rice irrigation and the construction of markets among others. The governor of Lower River Region, Salu Pui, commended FASDEP for attempts it is making towards the successful implementation of its programs. This, he said, is being demonstrated by the projects they have been executing. Governor Pui urged the participants to make good use of the knowledge gain and assured the projects of his office on flinching support. Capacity building is said to be integral in any meaningful development, a primary reason why such training can significantly help in the development of the country. Rahi Bitei, GRT's News. That story by Rahi Bitei takes us to our fourth break, but we'll be back with news from outside the Gambia after this break. <laughs> 